Hey, 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 hey! What's going on, guys? All right, you know, uh, today has been an interesting day so far. The spy, the spy certainly ran, and uh, I can't say that was expected. Honest to God, I didn't expect it, but it doesn't matter what I expect. I just play the charts. Now, I don't know if you guys remember on yesterday's live stream, right? That we drew this line here because this was acting as an important level and look how it panned out into today, right? Relatively close to the support and resistance that uh, we, <clears throat> we see printed on this chart, okay? So, if you guys are still in this play after uh, taking this call, you guys know the drill, okay? You took the call, the spy gave you more than you deserved, broke this level here, and then came right back down to it. Okay, supporting resistance. So, guys, let's go ahead and get the proper definition of this. Trend line support and resistance lines need to have at least two price points to be drawn. Simply connect two swing highs or two swing lows in a price chart with a trend line. And you can project the trend line into the future, right? We talked about support and resistance being one of those things where at some point of time, the market agreed on price, right? And that point of time could be rather recent. And a lot of technical traders take that, that, that bit of information and they're like, yeah, I remember we went down to 408 and it bounced. Um, we're down to 407. We're in the box. We can bounce. Okay, so this is what we saw with the SPY. Now, you guys know that the 1348 printed pre-market and, well, we took a nosedive, right? Thanks to, in part, Microsoft. The uh, fourth quarter projections, not too great, okay? Seriously, not too great. Now, I want to apologize. I wasn't on the live stream earlier this morning. I actually had an, app an appointment with... Uh, the Lamborghini Service Center, right? And uh, we're going to see if we can get this bad boy up to 1,300 horsepower, two twin turbos. And then, uh, you know, we do a little tuning. Catch me if you can. All right, so back to the charts here. We got this call here, 1348. Yes, sir. Um, you should have printed. You definitely should have printed. <laughs> uh why the tying up shot? Okay, so the tying up shot. Guys, I'm not just a YouTuber. Let me just give you a little bit of backstory. I obsess over things, right? And in learning to be a YouTuber, um, there were things that I had to learn. And one of those things, was let, let's start with frame rate, right? Um, hence, you guys get the higher quality image than you would see, you know, from most YouTubers. Uh, secondly, I'm shooting in 50 millimeter right now, which actually represents uh, the focal length, the natural focal length of the eye, right? So there's argument whether it's 35 to 50 millimeter, but um, I'm just, you know, I just don't want the warping, right? So when you go like a short focal length, which I was previously shooting, I felt like my nose was just way too big. And, you know, I already got a gonzo fucking nose, right? So the camera just made it that much bigger. So I put the camera back out. Came in at 50 millimeters, and now we do not have any lens distortion. At least I'm hoping I don't have any lens distortion. But, uh, yeah, enough with that. Uh, let's uh, go back to the chart here. Guys, no, no, honest to God, uh, uh, I'll get my tools uh, dropping dimes on a YouTube game. <laughs> like, like I, if you come to my studio, I have so much shit just absolutely obsessing over details in how to, uh, you know, uh, just improve the game, right? And I do the same thing with these charts. And obviously, you guys know that we are opera certified. How exciting is that shit? Opera fucking certified. Now, what I envisioned in this and our endeavor to get opera certified for this Discord was to give you uh, there, you go. <laughs> there you go, my man right here, 
the craziest studio I've ever been to. It's completely insane. Yeah, it actually drove him insane, too. He has OCD, and he was like, dude, let me fix your wires. <laughs> Anyways, um, being opera certified, right? Um, this allows you or allows you guys um, in what I envisioned that when you get the alert, you get fair market value of that option at the point of the cross. So you're not overpaying. Also, also, um, you are given instruction on, you know, the at the money and then the two strikes out. Um, and then you could go ahead and, you know, just look at whether it's going to be a week out, two weeks out, three weeks out. Right. So we stage it out for you. Okay. We, we, we want you guys to focus on the chart. The less time you spend like thinking, the more time you spend trusting uh, the process. <laughs> it, that is the truth. And Diamond Dog, you know what, Diamond Dog, you know, he sent me some pictures of his house, man. And he's got a super clean house and the guy cooks, he takes care of his family, and he does have OCD. So uh, I wouldn't put it past him there, right? So, um, okay. Guys, let's go ahead and analyze some of the tickers that you might have played with uh, STV. And let's really talk about the market. And again, the, the, the core concept of this video, what we're doing today is support and resistance. And support and resistance, you know, I gave you guys the definition of it, right? But for me, support and resistance keeps you, keeps you in the game, keeps your head in the game, right? And what do I mean by that? Well, you know, you enter a play and as soon as you enter, you know, I get it. You guys are brand new with trading, right? You're like, shit, you know, this could be my home run, <laughs> right? But if you see your support and resistance, you know that it's probably just a stair step, right? And you secure the bag. Now, if you guys follow me on Twitter, which I'm sure you all do, but I posted something interesting on Twitter with a $10,000 portfolio and just a uh, half a percent gains on your portfolio each and every day, you would have upwards of $300,000 in two years, okay? And the reason why I, I tweeted that was because I feel like, you know, with, with the meme stocks, and everyone's talking about the SEC and how, like, the SEC was just, you know, fucking with retail, and, and I actually kind of found it funny. I'm going to be honest. You know, you can hate me for this, but I actually kind of, like, found it funny because you guys now, you're in this Discord. You're actually learning. You're learning to trade, and I'm sure you almost feel that way, right, where, wow, retail is getting hurt, but now you guys have a skill set, right? And the reason why retail keeps getting hurt is because they have unreal expectations, and this is where support and resistance just definitely keeps your expectations in check, and this is is really, really important. If you want to last in this game, if you want to make serious money in this game, you have to respect these levels, okay? And these levels are drawn out for you automatically. I told you guys, you know, this is uh, a Discord exclusive, but I'll include a link down in the description for you guys, right? Um, you can go ahead and save this chart for yourself. Make sure you have TradingView Pro and then make sure you have uh, the three uh, live datas, right? It's an additional six bucks on top of your, your membership, but it's worth every dollar because you're able to see price action live and you're able to see how we talk about this over and over and over again, how price likes to hang around support and resistance it just does right and we also talked about the emas the blue line being the 13 ema the red line being a 48 ema the yellow line being optimus prime ema that is the 200 ema price just likes to hang around these levels as you could see we had a rim job play here on a five minute as price just you know flirted with the 13 on its way up is it currently trending up? Well, that's what the chart is telling us. But now you could see there's a subtle convergence here on the MACD and the signal line, right? And we'll get more into indicators. What do you mean you can't hear me? Raise up your volume. <laughs> Wait, guys, can you hear me? Can you hear me okay? I just want to make sure you guys can hear me. Are we good? And we have a slight delay. Uh, let's see. Yes, okay. 
Okay, you're fine. All right. Uh, thank you, Jordan. Okay. So you also have to respect these EMAs as support and resistance. Okay. And again, the 200 EMA for me is probably the most important levels because if you want to see why or where this is getting rejected outside of this uh, line here, this resistance, which it broke, we could go to other time frames to see, you know, why it might be rejecting, right? And you could see on the 30 minute, it's, it's right around this neighborhood, right? If we go to the four hour, on the four hour, we could see it's just simply rim jobbing the, uh, the 13 there. If we go to the daily, we could see that it got rejected by the 48 here, and it's just getting sandwiched in between the EMAs, right? So what we would expect over the long term in the trend is that if we have a continuation you see this here with the RSI, just uh, projecting an upward trend here. Okay, so if we have a continuation, you will see the 13 literally push the candles above the 48. You will have your cross, and then we would have the 200 EMA to contend with. Now, going back to the five minute here, okay, what we have is some consolidation. It looks like there's some consolidation here. And obviously, the longer the consolidation, the bigger the move and outside of this area here that we saw you know the stock hasn't really found you know it's it, it, it's it's trend line right it hasn't really found itself it was literally moving down or moving up and so you had just a few minutes of consolidation here and then now stair stepping to this level so what does this mean well i tell you what um you guys know i'm not a betting man because I'm not a betting man. If you guys saw me on the live stream yesterday with TMI, we were playing the one minute and um, I just damn near called when the candle was just going to destroy itself. Okay. Um, and we saw the big doom, doom candles, big doom, doom candles. Um, but uh, let's see. Let's, if you guys can hear me loud and clear, let me go ahead and see if I can raise the volume a little bit here. Um, we should be good to go. Okay. Uh, scar my world what is going on now let's go ahead and look at some other plays here where we can literally uh see uh supporting resistance right now it's midday right now things are really really slow right but with amd what we see price action respecting the 13 on its trend line on the way up and then it is consolidated right at the 13 the 13 currently acting as support until it no longer does now the indicators are telling us like hey we might be heading down down right mind you this is on a five minute so you know just be cautious right that this is your 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 first signal if you took this call hanging out here this is your first signal to secure the bag okay um, so again, the 13 being support and resistance, but we could have a breakdown. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and see another play. I, I don't feel like AMD, uh, really highlights, uh, the concept that we're trying to teach today. Um, who made money on the spy today? I want to know who made some money and well, AMD or NVIDIA doing literally the same thing. Uh, yes, less up and down moves. Meowser, that's, that, that's what I mean. Uh, Ryan made money with the spy. Obviously, if you made money with the spy, you made money with NVIDIA. I know Diana's in here somewhere. She, she definitely made some money with NVIDIA. <laughs> There's no way you couldn't make money with NVIDIA. Uh, there you go, Daniel. Carol made money. I just pulled a quick $10 out of it a few minutes ago. Scar. Listen, man, $10 gains, $10 gains. Carol, 18% gains. That's what we like to see. Uh, good money on the spy today. Dope, dope, and dope. Okay, so, scarred my world. I killed it with AMD. That's great. That's great. Let's uh, look at something like Lucid, right? Again, I'm just really trying to find a stock that, you know, had a little fun with itself, right? Um, 
I think this would be a good illustration. Maybe let's go ahead and go to the one minute and see if we have, ah, here we go. Okay. On the one minute, when you look at price action, you could see support and resistance. So should you have played Lucid and played the put, you had this level here, right? And let's go ahead and see if we got that level printed somewhere at some other point in time. Now I know it's a little harder to do under one minute, but we had that level printed for you. That should have been an indication to exit your play. It then consolidates, and then you get another put signal. And then it hits support here. That's when you go ahead and exit your play, right? And you notice in both of these instances, what's happening with the RSI? The RSI is converging onto its moving average, right? So if you missed this resistance, or, or support rather, you know, the RSI was giving you the second shot warning, okay? And we could see this also play out here. Okay, if you miss this level here, the RSI gave you an additional warning right there on that crossover. Okay, now we go ahead and we see where this call is here, right? Now this call on this play, I would not have taken it because, well, we had resistance here and then we established resistance here. I would not have taken it until I see a candle close above. Now. When I see a candle close above a line of resistance, I'm also looking at the RSI and I'm looking at the MACD and the shaft trend to tell me like, hey, there's a continuation of the move. At this point, this is where I enter or re-enter my play here, right? When you get a, a candle or two above the level and all the indicators check out, all right? This you re-enter and you make some money. Now, we are right here at this point, right? At or about here, no, we, we are right here. This level of resistance, that's gonna be at or about $20, okay? This for me would be my signal to get out. I've made money, right? I've made money from 1984 at or about or 1988 all the way to 20 bucks. I'm scalping. I'm making money. This is why and how, you know, this is why a lot of people play the one minute and this is how you're supposed to play the one minute. Okay. The one minute can be very, very dangerous if you are not respecting levels and you're not respecting in particular the RSI signals for your exits okay so let's go ahead and look at tesla because i know uh tmi <laughs> that man loves him some tesla and holy shit tesla tesla printed a call and has not looked back okay this is a great example of Support and resistance and how price likes to play in these levels. Okay. So you had this call here. Now, again, I would not have taken this call on the one minute till I see it break this level. But then we got confirmation with uh, this signal here, like, hey, you know, we, we got to move here. Then uh, we got a rim job. We call this a rim job, but a retracement back to the 13. The 13 is also a level of support. We, 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 we've already established this, right? The 13 and the 48, these are support levels, major support levels. Then we had a continuation, and then, boom, right there, we had a level of resistance. This would have been your clue to get out because not only was this level drawn, but the RSI broke below its moving average. And then the MACD followed suit and the shaft trend followed suit, right? So then it comes down and now we got a level of support. There you go, right? So we have a continuation of the move now. Again, you secured the bag here. It's truly up to you at this point if you want to go ahead and re-enter but you're playing the rim job, right? So I personally would not re-enter until once again, 
we get confirmation on the RSI. Everything checks out on the MACD showing bullish momentum. I would not re-enter until we break the level, right? And then, you know, we have this continuation of, of the move. This is a safer, more consistent strategy. Um, it, it forces you to secure the bag. And that is very, very important when, you know, you're, you're, you're playing scalps or you're playing intraday trades, right? Securing the bag is the most important important function of fucking trading, right? You know, I get a lot of shit on Twitter. They're like, aren't you the guy who said to sell high and buy low? And it's like, duh, that's what the fuck you're supposed to do, right? So <laughs> you sell high and you buy low. That simple, guys, right? Again, you guys in the Discord, do you have an incredible tool here with these charts? Okay, you have an absolute incredible tool because it keeps your head in the game and it keeps you from being greedy and it keeps you methodical, honest, right? And 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 it just helps you build good habits and your trading rapport repertoire right you you're building good habits okay if you're going to sit in a trade for way too long and absorb the ups and the downs i mean you know i i really don't want to talk about you know like the meme stocks um meowser uh, <laughs> just as i said i really don't want to talk about the meme stocks my man comes in like AMC trying to establish support at 1335. Okay, let's go ahead and make AMC my business. Even though I told you guys I was not going to talk about AMC. We are here, okay? <laughs> and so, AMC, it has broken several levels, right? You got this call. It broke this level, but what was more important than this level that was printed on your chart was actually the 200 EMA. It then found resistance here, and then it consolidated at the 200 EMA, acting as support. Next step, well, if you were actually trading this, and and, and I, I really hope you guys aren't, aren't trading this, right? This is not financial advice, right? Um, if you happen to be trading this, the stock gave you more than you deserved. And you always have to consider that. You also have to go ahead and like make an attempt to find previous levels, right? And in recent trading days, we have not found those levels, okay? So this level is unique to the trading day. I don't want to sit here and speculate on whether it's going to keep going up, right? If I entered on this call and I weathered everything here, I just simply secure the bag. You know, you're going to get a candle that's going to come ahead. Go ahead and bounce back to this level, right? And we're going to see how the RSI behaves in this situation, right? We're starting to see some red print. And the RSI, we see it start pivoting down. It actually crosses below its moving average. Then that obviously you will see the price action reflect that and start making its move down. Now the question is, does it move down and hold this level or do we have a continuation and it moves all the way back down to the 13? But at this point, she is just moon bound. <laughs> she is just moon bound, right? So again, we don't talk about AMC, but this is a great illustration of support and resistance if you were in fact trading options and shares, right? The game is all about securing the bag so that you live to trade another day, okay? Um, AMC for educational purposes only. Absolutely, my guy. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for that uh, disclaimer, okay? Uh, that's it. All right. So we're learning. That's why we are here. Now the indicators, yes, they say like it's, it's definitely moving up, but you also have to understand what the RSI means 
this means, hey, look, at, we are overbought. And so other technical traders that are in this game who trade exclusively on technicals will go ahead and say, all right, look at, you know, our entry was down here. We're way up here right now. You know, let, let's go ahead and sell. Okay. It's overbought. Definitely overbought. So remember yesterday I talked on a live stream and I said that what what makes a stock go up is one function, and that is buying. But what makes a stock go down is actually two functions. And those two functions are selling and then fear, right? And <laughs> the downtrend is, is sort of kind of like a domino effect, right? So when the masses start selling, that tips over the next domino, and that next domino is fear. And then everyone else starts selling, right? Because everyone is like, oh, shit, you know, like, Secure the bag, secure the bag. Um, so you want to be mindful of that, especially when you see a stock or a candle. A candle, just make a moonshot, okay? Always be mindful of that. Always keep that in the back of your mind, all right? Um, let's see. What do we have here? Um, that's how Mindtain says, that's how I'm an idiot. It still managed to pull profitable trades not guessing anymore. This is dope, right? So mine team, he's a retail trader, right? You know, you read your shiny DD on Reddit, you know, and it's like, oh yeah, this is going to make me stupid fucking rich. This is going to make me Warren Buffett rich, right? You know, but the thing is, it's like, that's literally retail giving you, you know, the confirmation bias you need, right? So it's another fan writing up some shiny dd so that you as a fan could absorb it right and so now you got just a collective a collect like like a pool of fools right not really knowing what the hell is going on okay so let's see uh famous zay says amc was our end all be all now it's just all right see you when you get there when you get here <laughs> uh let's see nice move up for B-E-K-E. -E. Let's go ahead and check that out. Um, Joseph Burns says, playing the strategy and not using supporting resistance is like flying a helicopter with your eyes shut. Yeah, you just don't know what's up or down, okay? All right, JSB619 says, help! He took Apple. Okay, let's, let, let's help you out here, right? We're going to go ahead and highlight uh, your comment help. I took Apple five minute call at 1120. It looked like a fake out when it got a closing candle below the 200 EMA and the RSI crossed below the moving average. Would you have exited or uh, the play or stay longer? Okay. So we are on Apple. Let's go ahead and, uh, let's hide this comment. Okay. Um, and let's find your time. So you said at 1120, on the five minute here we go okay so at eleven twenty, you got a call and this is this is actually a great example right of not buying into the system right you had the call here you had the 200 ema and then you had the uh resistance right here to contend with right so you have this call now should you have gotten in on this call? No, right? We talked about when support and resistance, in particular, the 200 EMA is really, really close to the price action. You do not enter, okay? Not here. This is not a good entry. But at this point, you get your rim job literally off the 13. And this candle just broke through everything. This is where you enter, as I understand it, and as I'm looking at it, right, there was more money to be made on the entry here than there is here, okay? So this was basically, uh, I, I want to say, you're, you're going to learn. You're going to learn. We talk about this all the time, support and resistance. <laughs> support and resistance, right? We talk about this all the time, how important that is. Even though you got the call, it got rejected and then came back down to the 13. And then we had a continuation. And the trend cycle, the MACD and the shaft trend cycle, along with the RSI, 
said, hey, let's be bullish, okay? So I, to answer your question, if I entered here, would I have exited here? Yeah, I would have, right? And then I would have re-entered. <laughs> or knowing that these EMAs were way too tight, I would have waited for this retracement and then confirmation with the candle and these indicators, okay? Gabe, from your years of experience, are summers lower in trading volume? Yes, they are. Yes, summer, you know, pretty much every industry, every industry, I can't read my head. Okay, let me go ahead and move this. <laughs> yeah, every industry out there, you know, outside of like a travel and leisure, they hate the summer, right? Because everyone's attention is on travel and leisure, right? That the, the the cruise lines, you know, fucking Mickey Mouse, you know, everybody's just, yeah. So uh, for the summer, people just hate it, right? Because people aren't spending money on, on you know, just, just bullshit, right? That tends to happen in the fall. We start spending money on bullshit. Um, so, yeah, the summer, volume drops. People aren't thinking about investing, right? They're thinking about how they can plan a vacation with their wife and kids and then plan a vacation with their mistress and their kids. Just seriously, that's the truth. <laughs> All right. Uh, Joseph Burns asks, and let's get to the chart here. Uh, when you get into a five minute cross, you kind of want to go back to the one or three minute to see if there, if it's at resistance or if the indicators are flopping back down before you enter. I, I really don't give myself that step. I think that that is a matter of preference and I think it's cautionary. And Joseph, if that's what you do, I think that's really dope, right? Uh, for me, you know, it, it's a matter of preference. Okay. Uh, Gabe, uh, let's see. <laughs> Uh, how about Microsoft? Just hit five minute call. Let's go ahead and check out Microsoft here, right? Microsoft just hit a five minute call. Let's break this down. Now, we have this call. I I, I kind of like it. I mean, all indication is saying like it's it's a go. You could see the shaft trend, you know, saying it's a go. I kind of like it. Um, but we do have this level here. So if you are going to play from 269.66, you know, your exit should be somewhere at 270.98. Now, if you are going to play this, I would suggest you give yourself two weeks, three weeks. Look for that expiration. Do not play tomorrow's expiration. You guys know the rules as well. Right, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Monday, Tuesday, halfway through Wednesday, you can probably get away with playing Friday's expiration. Once we hit Thursday, we're playing next week or the following week. And I also challenged the Discord a few weeks ago to give yourself a little bit more time. I think TMI and STB actually think, I know, they have been talking about allowing yourself more time so that you can let the play develop and you're not like, you know, losing your ass and going into the toilet with, you know, a turning stomach because, you know, the play worked against you, right? When you believe in the system, you will see that, you know, everything just usually comes full circle, okay? Just don't be greedy. Don't buy like way out of the money fucking options. You, you, you stick to at the money where the cross happened or two strikes out. I mean, it, it, it's, it, it's a no brainer it really is a no brainer. Um, let's go ahead. Uh, Paul Leto. Thanks Gabe. Good to know expiration detail as well. Yes. So this is why, this is why we got opera certified, right? Because, you know, Andy, Andy, that poor guy, I don't fucking pay him enough. I, I really got to start paying that dude, man. Like I do not pay that man enough, but, um, um, that, that, that's not an excuse for you to ask for a raise in a live stream too, Andy. All right. Don't you dare go fuck yourself. Okay. So the thing is, is that, uh, when, when we give you this data, we we want to give you the different tables, right? We want to give you at the money, you know, uh, two strikes out, 
you know, one week expiration, two week, three week expiration. I, I want you guys to be able to see that and make that education, uh, make that educated decision, right? Um, so Meowser, what does it mean to be opera certified? What it means is that as a discord, we can serve you real time options pricing, right? There, there's no other discord, 1348 discord, at least as I'm concerned, right? Because I'm the OG, I'm the original, right? Those motherfuckers are just like, I don't know, just like, like a shitty reggae remix of 1348. You know, like, you remember back in the 90s, you got, you got your reggae mixtape, you heard a homeboy like, this is an original, like, no, it's not, shut the fuck up. Right. Anyways, so what we're able to do is give you real-time options data, which gives you more information to allow you to make more of an educated decision and follow the rules, right? We want you guys to follow the rules. I want you guys to make that half percent gain each and every day. I want you guys to be millionaires in a couple of years. And, and this is not a far-fetched notion. Anyone who knows me knows I'm wealthy. And, and it's not because I got lucky. It was because I was consistent. That's it. And I, I believe in time. And I believe in math. And you guys should too. Okay? Period. Um, oh, should I highlight this? This sounds like emotional damage here. Trey's Discord is like buying electronics from Dollar General instead of Best Buy. <laughs> Shots fired! Shots fired. Oh, shit. Um, let's see. Where do we find the real-time options data and alerts? Well, again, remember how I said I don't pay Andy enough, right? He's working on it, right? And 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 I and from what I understand in yesterday's meeting, we are super, super, super close. Okay, um, they're super, super close, right? Also, to to give you guys a heads up, so when the alerts come out. All the alerts are going to be 15 minute delayed, right? Um, per rules and regulations, Opera has made it mandatory that uh, each and every one of you guys, new users, um, fill out your name and email, right? We it, it, Again, it's just rule and regulation, right? And we're not doing anything with that information, but in case we are audited, we have that information and say, okay, like these are the users and this is, you know, they're using this data and no, they're not professional traders, traders. All right. You guys better embrace that amateur role for the rest of your fucking life. Right. Cause we're paying for it. We're paying for it for you guys. Right. So, um, once you fill out that simple form, which we will include in the discord, your uh your role will then change right and then you will have access to the real-time options data all right i know that sounds like a little little drawn out and that's not even the purpose of this video but you know okay you guys asked so i'm just answering um let's see how much coffee did i drink today i drank a crap load i drank a crap load right and I swear to God, my bowels delivered before I hit the fucking record button and went live. Uh, yes, Eddie, exactly. So like TradingView asks as well. All right. Uh, Mindtain says we're ready. You want to print it, it. That's what this is all about. Making fucking money. All right. Making fucking money. That's it. Seriously. All right. If you're all about buying and hold and like, you know, like... Uh, I'm I'm over that shit already. I'm over it. Like, just completely over it. I'm all about making money. I swear, I'm all about making money. You know, for the money that we have to... I'm not even going to rant. I just feel a certain way, and I don't want to impose that on you guys in the Discord, but I'm just this fucking close to losing my shit. Anyways, <laughs> let's get back to the chart, guys. Uh, let's talk... Uh, give me a ticker. We need a ticker, okay? Give me a ticker. Uh, let's see.
Yeah, the chair is laughing. You guys are too busy over there fucking laughing instead of giving me tickers. Come on, man. Let's go. AMD. Okay, AMD. AMD or spy. All right, let's let's look at AMD really quick. And we're looking at AMD. Uh, come on. AMD is just like, fuck everybody. Go make your money, man. That that I can't discourage that. Just go fucking make your money. All right, let's go ahead and look at spy here. And, and she's doing the same thing. Like, this is... Okay, you know what? This is my rant. We're going in. My rant. Now, for the past six months, you guys have been honing the skills and being able to trade and learn to trade, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And then, you know, we get those random days where the market just trends. I can't wait for those days when, you know... We were just moving on up. Everything that we touched turned to gold. And your lives will be so much easier, right? So much easier. Ralph, what's going on? Ralph Oyster Doyster. <laughs> All right, listen, guys. Spy right here. Spy ran. But look what we have here. We got the RSI converging on its moving average here. Once you see that full convergence, if you are in on this call, you know, go ahead and secure the bag. I, I don't know if you secured the bag already, but uh, if you're playing the rim job, be mindful of this convergence here. All right, WFC, let's go ahead and check out WFC. Now you guys, now you guys are, are like, bring on the tickers, let's go, right? So here's another great example of support and resistance. All right. Now you got this call and I personally would not have taken this call right until I seen a candle break this level on the 200 EMA. It got rejected. And then here we go. But look at this level here. Right. It's hanging out here at this level of resistance. Guys, you have to fucking respect this shit. Seriously. Now, what do we have? We have RSI here on the five minute pivoting down, which means that what are we going to get? We're going to get some doom doom candles. You already see momentum thinning here on the MACD. Okay. Uh, scar my world. Oh, Lord. Dude. I got I got a backlog on Patreon, but like four thousand messages. Help me, <laughs> you know, a scar. Just just message me on Twitter. I think I think that's easier. You know, everybody wants a piece of me. I don't blame you. I mean, you know, I'm kind of chunky and meaty and high in protein. <laughs> okay, back to the charts. Uh, okay, scar. Uh, send me an email. Look in the description of the video. There's an email. Send me that email, okay? And, and I'm not, and, and, and that does not mean that you guys go ahead and start sending me emails and dick pics and all that shit, okay? Just, it's just for Scar. Um, okay. So, uh, JSB619. All right. How far back do I go? Well, when I'm playing the five minute, I like to look as far back as five trading days. Okay, five trading days. That's it. That's my role. You know, beyond that, I, I you know, sometimes I'll, I'll look, but for me, it's no more than five trading days. Okay, that's what I'm looking for. Okay, so Wells Fargo, you guys see it in real time how this is playing out. It gets rejected here, then the RSI makes its move below it. The, the moving average here and then well where's it gonna go is it gonna break through the 200 ema is it gonna fall down to the 13 let's find out on the next episode of dragon ball z all right so let's uh get up another ticker here um let's see joseph i'll go ahead and sign you up for my email subscription just kidding joseph please <laughs> <laughs> fucking guys all right um next ticker i know somebody had brought up um i'm trying to trying to recap here oh a a l okay let's go ahead and bring this up a a l uh, american airlines group here we go okay this call right here again this is another situation where you get the call signal, but 
I would not enter until I get a nice solid candle closing above the 200 EMA because then see the RSI was already telling right here coming into here. It was already fucking telling you like, Hey, look at no, that this might be a fake out. Okay. And this is the reason why we say when price and the EMAs are way too close, we don't play it until we see, until we see what? Thigh gap. We like thigh gap. And thigh gap, we're referring to these EMAs separating, okay? And that setup was just not there for American Airlines. Just not. At least not right now. You see momentum sort of thinning here on the MACD. And you see the RSI just damn near right there, right? Just flatlining. Uh, with its moving average. So for me, not a high quality play. If you were in this play, uh, you know, that's why we have rules. Can't say I told you so. Okay, let's look at uh, BBY. Best Buy. <laughs> you guys remember that call on Best Buy I made? That shit was epic. Okay. This is a healthy, a healthy play here. You get the call. You got the momentum here on MACD. Shaft trend saying go. RSI above its moving average. You got this candle. And where do we stop? Oh, what's that line? What is that line? That is resistance there. That is the 200 EMA fucking frustrating me at this point you are frustrating me at this point if you guys are not securing the bag you're fucking frustrating me there's no reason why you cannot be smashing three four five ten percent gains there's no reason especially with support and resistance there if you guys do not have trading view I mean, I think we've gone through enough examples where you need to stop being a cheap ass and go get yourself some trading view and then pay for the real-time data, okay? That's it. Things aren't looking good for Best Buy right now, at least here on the five-minute, but this was a great opportunity to make some money right here, okay? Support and resistance keeps you humble, right? If you took this call, I know a lot of you, you know, some some people go ahead and they see the call. You know, the other 1348 discords, you know, they get the alert, Best Buy call. And they're like, oh, call, go make some money. And they don't know the rules. And then they enter that play. And then they're like, 1348 doesn't work. No, motherfucker, you don't work. And your leader doesn't work either. That dipshit. Okay, one reason. Mental and emotion issues. Work in progress on it. There you go. Myrna coming up on a cross. Uh, show us a live trade showing us how to secure the bag. Selling at a decent time is my biggest downfall. Scar, dude, we've been showing you all fucking morning. This is how you secure the bag, right? Dude, this chart, you get a call here. You secure the bag here. That's it. That's simple. Let's not overcomplicate it because my trades are literally following this system. <laughs> You guys are gonna give me fucking ulcers. <laughs> uh, puts no, no, because we do not have a put signal. Okay, the price on trading view is nothing compared to the cost fees and prices you will have to pay for other kinds of businesses. You know, thank you, Mary. Now this, see, this is why women live longer than men. They have common sense. You dudes are just a bunch of irrational fucks who just like to chase pussy. Let's just be honest, right? Um, oh, this is mean. This is mean, but I have to highlight this. But that's mean, and I like it. <laughs> All right, let's look at snow on a four-hour. Uh, snow, here we go. On the four hour, let's check her out. Ooh, okay. This, 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 and this. <sighs> you know, 
things are looking good for snow right now. Things are looking good, right? Is this a reversal? I can't tell you it's a reversal at this point, right? We have to see how things pan out. But let's go to the daily and what's happening on the daily. Okay. On the daily, we see that the candle is right at the 13. Right at the 13. So if we're looking at the four hour here, you know, I, I, I would expect... <clears throat> this one, this one is definitely a hard call. Let me not gamble on this one. All right, let me let me give you. All right, based on the indicators, we're doing well here on a four hour. At the current price of uh, one thirty seven fifty, we have this level here at one fifty two forty six. I want to go ahead and zoom out. Let's see if we have another level. You know what? I say full send that bitch. You're good to go. You're good to go. Definitely good to go. If we go to the daily here, you see RSI pivoted up from an oversold state, right? It, it, it's been down here for some time. So we got the pivot shaft trend signaling a buy. And then we got some green on the histogram. We're waiting for some more separation here. I'd say if you're going to play Snowflake, yeah, you know, just, yeah. When, by the way, Carol, Carol, please, when I say full send it, I don't mean go ahead and YOLO your fucking portfolio. I'm just saying, you know, just still 10%, you know, just. <laughs> you got to be careful what I say sometimes. Um, let's see. Scar says, although I get it, I understand what you're saying, and I do good with market direction, entry, and exits, but I can get I can get in a rim setup most days, and it turns quickly, and I tend to hold through. Uh, so if you're going to do the rim setup, and you're going to do it on the one minute, make sure that the RSI is your friend, okay? Now, I'll give you a great example of this. Um, let's say you were playing a rim and you entered at or about here when it breaks through its level of support and she's running good for you johnny she's running that break below the moving average on the rsi is all you need to get out right and if you're wondering like well why wouldn't i just hold a little longer <clears throat> because well it's just moving sideways here and theta is not your friend okay I, I dare you, Scar, I dare you go ahead and use uh, the RSI um, as, as, as a signal for exits, okay? Just just integrate it, okay? Integrate it, um, and, and I think you'll find yourself, you know, exiting. Um, your exit will be better. Uh, Joseph, <clears throat> Joseph Burns says, you don't really want to be trading during this time. I usually wait till almost about 2 o'clock to start my trading again. Yes, you're right. That's why I go live at 2 o'clock. And we've been live for about an hour. So you know what that means? I got a whole hour to enjoy myself and jerk off to midget porn. And then I'll see you guys at 2. That's how this works. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning on in. I hope you learned something. Guys, I really want you guys to buy into our system. Okay. Um, buy into our system. Support and resistance is everything. Support and resistance. I want you guys to think about this too. Support and resistance here is automated, computer generated, you know, based on facts. So it's not like it's human support and resistance. You know, so so we take human error, and that's what we're trying to do with this Discord. Remove as much of the human error as possible to make sure that you trade efficiently and profitably, right? And so support and resistance automated, it's done for you. Respect it. Respect the 13, respect the 48, the 200 EMA. Always look at price relative to those EMAs. And just rock on. Make your money. All right? I got to go ahead and rub one out. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm ki Please, I'm kidding. But even if I do, I promise I'll wash my hands. Peace.